हेलो नमस्कार के तब का हाल खबर आराम हो जाड़ो अज जाड़ो में न्यानोसंग बस रख्वे तई तातो तातो खाई रख्वला है आपको ख्याल कर रख्वला भाई आशा संगे तब स्वागत करूँ यो मड़का सेंट्रल में मिशाल यो प्रोग्राम में चाह तबाई हम लाने गर्स एकजना गेस्ट लहांसंग हम मजा कफ काफ कर आधी घंटा जस्तु के राइट मिठो मटका चिया खाद र आज मसंग एकजना स्टूडियो में गेस्ट आईसुक रहाँ को बारे में भनी हाल भाग पैले तब जानकारी दी हाल यो पिंगलाई स्थान में जहाँ एक्टर स्टूडियो रहे स्टूडियो थिएटर स्टूडियो थिएटर को थिएटर में चाहे एटा नाटक प्रदर्शनी में आई रखे नाटक को नाम हो देवराली डाँडी यो देवराली डाँडी नाटक कस्त तो नाटक हो रही यो मटका सेंट्रल में गेस्ट को अगड़ी बसर कनी रहो नाटक को बारे में है तब कुंदी भैर हो नाटक का सब कुछ नाटक को बारे में हमें मजा बताइद को लगी आज मसंग गेस्ट होटक को निर्देशक रोज स्विच तर यू बिन स्टेइंग इन नेपाल फर लाइक 8 इयर्स 8 इयर्स अरे अब रोज लाई एज अ स्टुडियो मा लिएर आउनु पछाडीको कारण मै भन्छु है कि तपाई भन्नुहुन्छ ओके मै भन्छु एक्टर स्टुडियो काठमाडौँ एक्टर स्टुडियो बारे चाहिँ वहाको नाटक देवराली डाडी देवराली डाडी देवराली डाडी द लास्ट च्याप्टर अफ घाटु लास्ट च्याप्टर अफ घाटु है सो इट्स ऑल अबाउट घाटु नाच Um not exactly it's a mix so this idea of ghatu nach which is uh-huh. burung magar um dance drama practice okay. um that is a big part of what we have done with the rehearsal process uh-huh. so when you come to see the play you will see ghatu nach in the play okay. and you will see That's it. excuse me yes, tey roke na As- when you come to see the play you As- will see the ghatu nach As- mostly you know tey roke tyo bhanda pehla Let's go back to your journey from USA to Nepal. Yes. Eight years ago, I was born in Nepal. 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 mostly looking for just some kind of different experience i was okay. interested in the culture mm-hmm. i had some friends who were working here so i came to visit mm-hmm. and uh, i never left i just kept staying um and i started to work at yulin school mm-hmm. in uh tsapagao and then i worked there for 4 or 5 years and then i started to join the theater community here mm-hmm. with one world theater okay. um acting directing managing um and i really fell in love with the theater community and so um what i've done very recently is i decided to do a um research project maybe we'll talk about that in a minute mm-hmm. but that's that's my most recent work so okay. really early on i was teaching mm-hmm. and then i slowly became more involved in the um in the theater community so theater not what do you used to do before nepal no no okay before uh when i was in the us i was mostly just doing music um and my my studies in literature mm-hmm. um i had done a little bit of theater but i really wasn't so involved i actually found uh, a deep love for theater from working and studying here mm-hmm. because it's so different from american theater mm-hmm. um i found that very exciting can you please elaborate on that like how nepal is uh, nepali theater is different from us theater yeah um i was like, thinking about that what do you find the difference It's there's there's a lot of differences. Okay. Um I think a lot of American theater mm-hmm. like the the sort of big picture idea of American theater is really focused on realism. Mm-hmm. Um and uh, very like tak 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 stories that follow a, a clean um like story arc. Yes, a clean story arc where it's just going forward. Mm-hmm. I know. Mm-hmm. and i find that nepali theater sometimes is is in that sort of realistic mm-hmm. style but a lot of it is much more experimental in terms of the story doesn't have to follow a single line mm-hmm. um the the set and the production elements are not 
they're not realistic. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot more movement in Nepali theater. There's a lot more music. In, in American theater, unless it's a musical, mm -hmm. like a Broadway musical where they're singing and dancing, you don't usually have live musicians, actually. But in Nepali theater, you almost always have live musicians. Mm -hmm. Uh, and these big movement sequences with, with lots of dance and, and movement energy um, and physical activity, which is it's quite different from American in that sense. Um, I think also the, the presentation style is quite different. Um, do you know about the fourth wall? Do you know what I mean by the fourth wall? So in theater, we talk about how here we have one, two, three walls, I know, and then the audience would be over there okay. and we would say there's an invisible fourth wall okay. between us mm -hmm. on and stage the, and the audience, and, the audience. Mm -hmm. and in american theater often we we ignore the fourth wall we don't acknowledge the audience directly but in okay. in nepali theater there's a lot of direct address like outside the fourth wall to the audience mm -hmm. so um people will i mean quite literally mm -hmm. that the actor will will turn to the audience and present the monologue to them. Mm -hmm. Whereas in American theater, more often the monologue will be to the other actor okay. or internal rather than presented to the audience, um, which I think is a lot more common in Asian forms of theater rather than in Western forms of theater from what I have seen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's nice to know about. <laughs> now you know, yeah, yeah. now you know. <laughs> I didn't know about that, the fourth wall thing. Mm -hmm. I didn't know about that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, I have talked to many theater artists. Mm. Most of them say uh, it's hard to uh, get your bread and, bread and butter just working just from the theater. But uh, from your experience, it sounds like it's the theater what kept you in Nepal. Mm. So did you not find it that yeah. way? Like, that's, that's a good question. That's a good question. I it? think... Um, I'm a little bit lucky in in the sense that I have been able to have other work in addition to my theater work. Um, so previously when I was teaching at Ulins, I had that and then I would do rehearsals after school. In the gap, like during COVID, um, I was able to have online work actually, so I could do that on my own time um, because it's true that, that theater really doesn't provide enough bread and butter, as you say, um, for anybody. So uh, for me, I've been really lucky that I have those opportunities. I work for a company outside of Nepal that allows me to work online on my own time. Um, but for most people, it's, it can be very, very difficult, actually. So we have to find ways to, I think, adjust the theater scene, the theater community, um, the practices so that people can survive more properly on, on their income from, from theater. Especially in Kathmandu, it's, it's quite difficult because the, I mean, you know, but costs are so high uh, and they're only continuing to get higher. So it does, it does present a challenge for a lot of people. You mentioned practice. I mean, your program is your Matka Center, you have practice in your Matka Center. You have to say props, there is actually tea in it, mm -hmm. an actual tea in it. Where you have to say tea in it. Let's practice that. Right? Or lazy. Cheers. On that note, let's go on a break. I mean, like break the lagum. I'm just gonna roll switch on that note. Let's go on a break, please. All right, welcome back to Modcast Central. I am Vishal Tapai Ko Saath Matsu and I am Mosang Honsa Rose Sweats. Rose, welcome back. Thank you so much. Let's talk about Devrali Dadi. This Devrali Dadi concept you got to do. Where did you get to do it? Why Devrali Dadi? Please, let me start. So, what I have been doing for the last year is research into this Ghatu not okay. um, and I knew that at the end of this project I wanted to make a play mm -hmm. that would somehow take elements from or be inspired by Gatunat okay. and um, 
I was confused, like, how do I do this? How do I use something that's so different from contemporary theater in a contemporary theater setting? Mm -hmm. And uh, what I found was that there had to be some contemporary issue or mm -hmm. current issue mm -hmm. from today that can connect uh, wider audiences to this katu. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking, okay, what, what feels like something that is really, really relevant for Nepal, not just for Guru Magar people, but for everyone in Nepal. And I found that um, this issue of labor migration actually is, uh, for me, feels like the biggest um, issue that Nepal is facing today. Mm -hmm. Slowly I was thinking, how, how can we connect this concept of labor migration to this practice of Gatunat? Mm -hmm. Um, and with uh, with the playwright whose um, pen name is Sahalesh, um, we we developed this story together that sort of takes. Um, I'll give you a small a small picture of what the story is. I won't tell you the whole thing because I want you to come see it. But the um, there's a village where. Um, there are no men anymore mm -hmm. because they've all had to leave okay for work for like, work mm -hmm. for work and so the um in in this village we're, we're sort of following the story of these six uh women who are still there we we sort of see see the challenges that they face okay. we see the love that they have for each other and the way that they support each other and the way that they fight for the things that they need um and through through the eyes of those six women, we get to learn about different aspects of labor migration in Nepal and different aspects of Katu. So when you're talking about it, it feels kind of complicated. But I think when you come to see the play, you'll see how, how beautifully actually the playwright has woven these ideas together. For me, I think actually that this this text and, and the work that we've done in rehearsal is um, quite unique mm -hmm. in in Nepali theater and I think that the um, I'm, I'm very excited about the quality of language mm -hmm. that we'll see in the in the play and about the the story that we'll see um, and I really truly I, I really hope that um, from this play people are able to walk out of the theater and have some some introduction to Ghatu, mm -hmm. some idea of what it is and what mm -hmm. it looks like and, and how we practice it. Mm -hmm. We, meaning the people who practice it. Mm -hmm. And I hope also that when people, uh, when people, audiences walk out of the theater, that they're having some, some thoughts and some awareness about mm -hmm. labor migration mm -hmm. uh, in Nepal, um, because it's very, very complicated. Mm -hmm. It's very complicated. I think in some ways that's maybe the most important thing that I've learned from this process of doing research and then doing this play mm -hmm. um, is that uh, the situation of many Nepali people um, who choose to go abroad or have to go abroad mm -hmm. or come back after being abroad, it's very, very complicated. And I think um, it's, a, it's something that I wish people were talking about more not just in Nepal, but outside as well. Mm -hmm. um, so that's, yeah, in Durali Dari, I think we'll really have this um, exploration of this beautiful dance, this beautiful mm -hmm. ritual practice, uh, but somehow connected to this very complex current issue that, okay. that Nepal is facing. So uh, tell us about your experience yeah? mm -hmm. when you first saw Gatu. Mm. Uh, how was it? How how you find the cartoonats? For weeks, for months, I was just like thinking about what I had seen mm -hmm. and trying to understand it and trying to, um, yeah, process the experience. It's mm -hmm. um, the the dance. The dance itself mm -hmm. is really beautiful, mm -hmm. um, and so even just watching the dance is very special. But then to see the whole the whole picture. The community, the entire village um, where I where I was, it's called Nalma, um, in Lamjung. It's like two hours up from Besi Sahar. The whole village comes together mm -hmm. to make Gatu happen, and it goes for five days. Everyone is involved, from the children to the old people, um, men, women, everybody is involved, um, and just seeing how powerful the music is. Mm -hmm and the dance and then the the sort of really complex rituals that they mm -hmm. they go through um i really couldn't I, i've never 
I truly have never experienced anything like that before. Um, it was, it was, I think probably the most amazing thing that I have witnessed in in person. And let's talk about your cast. So, I'm like, Coco Slay, they can be born soon. Yeah, I'm like, Chile Gone, where are you? Hockey, nay. Yes. Okay, so, born no million, hockey, nay. I can tell. I'll okay. I'll share. So we have uh, we have a cast of six. Mm -hmm. It's all women. So we have Dia Maske. Okay. We have Menuka Pradhan. Mm -hmm. We have Pashpati Rai. Mm -hmm. We have Ranjana Bhattarai, who mm -hmm. you have worked with. Okay. Um, we have. I've worked with Dia Maske. And Dia as well. As well. You've worked <laughs> with Dia, Dia as well. We have uh, Binita Tapa Magar, mm -hmm. and we have uh, Sarsati Chaudhary mm -hmm. from Gurukul. Mm -hmm. um, so it's really a power cast. Um, and quite a mix, actually. It's people mm -hmm. from from uh, different, different theater backgrounds, group, uh, different ethnic groups, mm -hmm. different working histories. Mm -hmm. um, me personally, I've only worked with two of these people mm -hmm. before. Um, so for me, it's been a learning experience, also of like how to take everyone's different working mm -hmm. styles and and bring them all into the so studio. Sadhana, powerful women are. You know, including you. Yeah, and me. Sajana <laughs> powerful women are going to play, you know? Mazako powerful like mm. I've been following your uh, posters and everything oh. on social media for quite a few days. Mm. 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 Thank you. Hyped up by Rogosa, you know? mm. So we're waiting for that January cutting. Yes. You know? Yo, the world daddy go by Mazi Top Krakani Gorunda, Japanese Sushi Visa, Japanese Kale Gorunda. Break Rose, welcome back. Thank you so much. I mean, you there were only two casting who could have done this. Gadi, I mean, today we all get this story. Bunny, bunny, all over. Malay, so do many like you. Jadi bunny cast, to be like, channu ba kosa you naatak ko lagi. Or you naatak le jee ban na khose ko. To be like you naatak through jee message dinu khose ni bolu. This ko lagi to be as a director to be aafu. Or as a cast, jadi bunny kalaikar saathi aur unsa. So which is a perfect unsa. So I, in, in this process of researching Katu and developing this project and developing this, this new play, mm -hmm. um, I've had to ask myself that question a lot, okay. a lot. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if, if I'm the perfect person for this mm -hmm. and I don't know if they're the perfect people. Mm -hmm. But what I uh, realized is that we're not trying to, uh, we're not trying to recreate Gatu exactly as it is because we're not the people for that mm -hmm. we really aren't mm -hmm. and i think that the people that i know in nalma the people that i've l spoken to and and learned from mm -hmm. uh who actually practice Gatu, those are the perfect people to do that mm -hmm. i know um and for me it was really important that this play is not a recreation of Gatu, mm -hmm. that it gives a glimpse of it but it's mm -hmm. not just a recreation mm -hmm. um and for that reason, actually, I tried to make a, a really diverse cast mm -hmm. rather than uh, only only Gurung or only Magar people mm -hmm. um, for the cast. Because even though I wanted to give a glimpse of Katu, I wanted the the whole project to be the whole play to be relevant for mm -hmm. wider audience. Mm -hmm. um, that felt very very important to me because. Um, what I what I found when I was in Nalma doing research mm -hmm. is that, like I told you earlier, it, it was the most amazing thing that I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. And when I would talk to people here in the city or in other parts of Nepal about Kaju, they would say, I've never heard of that before. Mm -hmm. I want to know more. Mm -hmm. And that to me was a really important lesson that um, there are so many uh, really incredible practices here in Nepal, but people just don't know because it's not their own culture. Mm -hmm. um, and so I felt like with this project, I really wanted to explore, mm -hmm. uh, really research, how can I uh, help facilitate this kind of sharing within a theater setting, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. 
यो थिएटर चाहिँ मुभी तिरको अब अर्को चलचित्र यो फिचर मुभी को गेटवे जस्तो क्या थिएटर गर्ने थिएटर को सफलता पछि सक्सेस भएपछि थिएटरमा अनि अब फिचर मुभी तिर जाने चलन छ त्यसो रोजको हामीले चलचित्र हेर्न पाउँछौँ कुनै चलचित्र बनाउने त्यस्तो केही छ सोच I'm not so interested in film and no? TV. No. I have done some. Okay. Some here and some in the US. Mm-hmm. Um my real my heart is in in the theater. My heart is on the stage. Yeah. But if you have a job for me, let me know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm a director so I'm going to say director so I'm going to say this today. Uh Asti Barkhari Jun Sambanna bhayo yo Antarashtriya Theater Festival, International Theater Festival. Tesma kura niskaya thyo kya yo theater lai chai एकाडेमिक एजुकेशन में चाहे इन्वल्व कराने पथवा एकाडेमी को थिएटर एजुकेशन इन्वल्व कराने पर्चा जान पर्चे निस्क्या वॉस योर टेक ऑन दैट अन मेकिंग मोर एजुकेशनल थिएटर या अलग कस्तु अब हर एक को अब स्टूडियो थिएटर ने अपने एवं क्लासेस दिखाई करिकुलम छंडला का अपने करिकुलम जिस छुटाछुट करिकुलम भाग अवस्था में सब एक गाभर गवर्नमेंट बॉडी ने नहीं करिकुलम बनाएर थिएटर एजुकेशन करने भाई खाले कुछ निस्किया थे क्या सो यू थिंक इट्स गुड आई आई वाज इन देयर फॉर दैट कन्वर्सेशन बट आई थिंक व्हाट व्हाट वुड बी रियली बेनिफिशियल इज इफ वी हैड गवर्नमेंट सपोर्ट एस्पेशली फॉर एजुकेशन थिएटर एजुकेशन आई थिंक व्हाट्स समथिंग दैट्स रियली स्पेशल अबाउट काठमांडू थिएटर सीन इज दैट द डिफरेंट like you said mandala has their own acting curriculum actor studio has their own curriculum and that gives actors different uh, styles of training um which for me is amazing so important if there were some kind of s- government support or um university like from KU or TU a big university that can really support this wider longer curriculum i think that would be um great i i always wish that there was more theater education i think the only for me the only problem with that is if there's one centralized um acting curriculum mm-hmm. theater curriculum um what happens to the companies that yeah already that already, already do this mm-hmm. i think something centralized can be really beneficial if it doesn't cancel everything else okay let's talk about the world daddy यो वन वर्ल्ड थिएटर को प्रडक्शन हो राइट तर प्रदर्शनी होने स्टूडियो थिएटर को जो हल छाने हो टिकट प्राइस को बारे में बुझी हाल न Yes, I can tell you about tickets. So, uh general tickets are 500 per okay. person. Okay. Um student tickets are 300 mm-hmm. and then we have our VIP seats which are 1000 mm-hmm. uh in the front row. Mm-hmm. Um and we do recommend pre-booking. Um mm-hmm. some of our shows are already 50% sold out. Mm-hmm. Um so it's important to check out the mm-hmm. the online system or or call our box office in advance. So how do how do we pre-book? How do we pre-book? Oh, I don't have the phone number memorized. Okay. Um but our poster is um all over social media and I can share it with you as well. Okay. And the number is there at the bottom. Hi right, Rose, all the best. Thank you so Can much. Like play Safal Hoss. है ना अभी सफल सफल प्लेयर को लिस्ट में तैंक प्ले रहोस् तबसंग तैंक क्रू रो टी यो यो संपूर्ण टीम जिस देवराली डाड़ी हेपन सफल बनाने को सहयोग जिस को सब मेरे तरफ बार शुभकामना थैंक यू सो मच कार्यक्रम आई दिव थैंक यू भेरी मच ओके आज को लगी मटका सेंट्रल ये नहीं फिर अर्क एपिशोड में तब को मेरे ये मजा को साँची के मटक जस्तु ये तो मटक हो तो अर्क मटका कप को साथ में मैंने नहीं एकजना अर्क अतिथि को साथ में तीन जलसम तब को दिन शुभ बितोस् अगि ये सुरुआत में नहीं फिर भर मन लगे जाड़ो छानो बस्तुला है मजा तातो पानी खानुला टेक केयर अफ योर सेल्फ बाय बाय हाव अ गुड डे
Bits and AP1 presentation.